How's it going guys? Welcome back to my channel. After dealing with some last minute stitching and a lovely mess from Dr. Destructo, I'm finally able to get a video out to show you the updates of what I've been working on this week. So, um, I don't really have anything new as far as life events um, this week. We're just getting ready making some costumes in preparation for our trip to Otakon. Otakon is the anime convention I'll be going to in two weekends. Not this weekend, but next weekend. So it's right around the corner. Sit. Stop your reign of terror. Sit. 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 Okay, so let me show you what I've been working on. Um, the first thing was uh, the creation of Adam, which is my long project. Um, it's one of those things that you, you need to not be afraid of commitment <laughs> to get involved in. <laughs> because it's going to take me a long time to finish. But anyway, um, I decided to kind of mix things up. I was trying to do all the blue that goes between um, God and Adam and kind of down the middle of the artwork. And I was getting bored with that, so I decided to go back and decided to try to fill in a page. Um, so the way that the pattern is, there's a small quarter page at the top and then a full page underneath so the whole top has like a small quarter going across and I completed one of those the second one is 95% complete so I could probably finish that next month but then I was trying to do the big the first full page underneath um, which I had maybe 90% done and I didn't get it finished, but I'm so close to getting it finished. So here's where I'm at. And as you can see, I finally introduced some new color <laughs> to this project. This, this is the, the hair to Adam. Adam's kind of lounging. This is his face right here, and he's kind of lounging here. So that's his hair. Um, so I'm actually getting into the actual meat and potatoes of the artwork um, piece. But right right along here, I think right here, is the, um, the bottom of the page over to like maybe here. So I just have this little corner to do um, to finish page one. And then page two, there's some filling in here and then just this part here. So if I fill this whole section in, I'll be mostly done with the first two large pages of the piece. So I thought I'd just, you know, get some completed pages behind me and actually have it be more than just a big swash of blue with some blue shading. So this is definitely one that I go to when I'm just wanting to stitch with one color and I have to change um, colors a lot because I can take one color and basically stay with it. I mean, there, there's certain colors on this that they still need 10,000 stitches on, um, on, on this to be com completely used up. So um, it's easy to just take one color. Like if I'm going on a trip or something, I often I'll take this one with me and take one or two colors and I can just focus on those few colors um, because this whole thing kind of, as it stretches out, is all the same colors intermingled together, so it's easy to just keep spreading out. Um, so that's that's often what I use this for. But I wanted to put some actual effort into um, completing some of it. So anyway, that's where we're at with that one. I always do the um, 
creation of Adam near the end of the month. That's like my last, the third, the third week of the month is always the week I work on this. I don't know why. It just always ends up that way. Um, so that was my third week. I spent five, five days on that 1750 stitches, which is what I do every month. Cause I'm doing, um, 21,000 stitches in the year 2021 for the full coverage fanatics group on Facebook. So I've been maintaining that. Um, it's going to take me to the end of the year. I know some other people have gotten theirs completed, but you know, I'm trying to do equal time on everything I'm working on. So it's going to take me to the end of the year to get it done. Um, but that's okay. Speaking of um, equal time, one thing I have been neglecting is my Legend of Zelda, which I really want to work on. And there's just so many other things I also really want to work on. But I really want to get this um, piece done. I just don't think I'm going to get it done by the end of the year. I'd love to. I am at or just about at 60% if I'm not at 60%. So I'm over halfway done. It's the furthest along I am on anything I'm working on. Um, but this is, uh, I think I have a picture of where I was last time I worked on it. And then this is where I am now. Um, here's the full. Mainly, I've just been working up here. Because as I've been saying, whenever I bring this out, my intent is to go full coverage all the way to the end. This is the end. And then get this all done. And then start working my way down. So I'm really focusing on this section right now because then I want to like kind of do a full sweep all the way down. Um, a lot of this over here is completed up to about maybe here. This whole area is completed. So um, this is a larger, I think it's a 16 count or 18. Um, and I, most of the things I do now are 25. That's kind of my happy, um, place as far as, um, counts, fiber counts, 25 count is the one that works the best for me. So anyway, so this is a little bigger, but it's nice to have something that's a little bigger every so often to kind of go back to. Um, it's easier to see so I can work on this when I'm in places that aren't as well lit. Um, I can still work on it. So in any case, um, it's interesting because when I started this was last May. Um, and this is the second project I've ever worked on. And the only thing I did before this was Cuphead. This is the second thing I've started um, since I started cross-stitching. And I've kind of gone a long way. I'm putting my needle back in. I kind of gone a long way um, since I started this. And just, just a side note, I put all my needles in my grime guards. I don't use needle minders. And it's because I got needle minders, but then my son kept putting them in his mouth. And because they're magnets, I just didn't want to risk him swallowing one. So I stopped using them. I, I don't even know where they all are. He, he kind of got rid of all the backs and they've just dissolved into the chaos that is my house. So I, I couldn't even use them. I probably had six maybe needle minders and they're all vanished. <laughs> so anyway, that's, so I, I just put my needles in the, um, grime garden that works well enough for me. Um, so it was interesting to see anyway, uh, since I started to now how my stitching's changed, cause this is the back for any of you back people, people that like to see the back of projects. This is my back. And if you could see, if I get it in the light where I was before, how it's like, um, I didn't tie things off. Right. So there's a lot of loose ends over here. I would not my thread before putting it through instead of hooking it into the loop um, like I do now. So there's a lot of like knots and loose threads over here compared to over here. And I know this isn't completed, but it's just um, a different, it looks different. You could tell from a year ago to now, I mean, it's been a little bit over a year, but comparatively how things have changed as far as my stitching style. So I'll show that again when I have this whole section completely 
completed, full covered. I'll show the back of it again so you can see the comparison between a year ago and now. So anyway, that's where we are with that. And then the only other thing I worked on was Hello Pumpkin. This was another one I didn't get to work on last month, so I was really happy to be able to revisit it. I don't even know when I worked on it last. When was last month? June, May. I don't know if I worked on it in May or not. It might have, but oh yeah, I did. But all I did in May was this um, mushroom. Did I even finish it? Yeah, I finished it. But that's all I worked on was this mushroom. So it's a very small amount of work on this. So anyway, this month for Hello Pumpkin, I worked on this whole top section. So from here to here, this is all new. It's a lot of just leaves. It's the bird I did, but um, I love the colors in this, how they introduce a lot of pinks and purples to the fall foliage. Um, it's just really nice. It's really pretty. So I will definitely be doing whenever they release, I don't even know, I don't even know if they've released them or not, but the spring and summer versions of these, I will definitely be doing them. Um, and I would love to finish this by the end of this, this year. All I have to do is like down to about here. That's the rest of the tree. And then down here's the tree trunk and the base. So it's possible if I could just keep getting time to work on this. It's possible that I could finish it by the end of this year. So... The last thing I'm working on this month is my ornament. I didn't do an ornament last year, last last month. I don't. I think it was I I vacationed. We went to Tennessee, and I just got so. Oh, it took me like two weeks to do the creation of Adam. Like I got so far behind on my stitching, so there were so many things that I just could not work on. So last month I did not do an ornament at all. I'm trying to get a um. An ornament done each month. I was going to give them to my coworkers, but the funny thing is, a lot of my coworkers are quitting. <laughs> this is why I didn't put their names on, because like four people left my job um, in this this past year, this year so far. So my tenure, my um, seniority is definitely going up, but they're not hiring anyone new. <laughs> Um, at least as far as nursing goes, so, um, I don't know, we'll see <laughs> who's left at the end of the year, but I'm going to make an ornament for everyone that's still there, so that's the plan. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to spend the last couple days working on that, and then I might have some extra time at the end of the, at the end of the month, um, for, like, free days for me to just stitch on whatever I feel like stitching on. I honestly would probably go back and work on, um, Unicorn Badger peacock because there's a lot of filler um green filler that i wanted to get to that i didn't get a chance to get to so if i had an extra time i would work on that so anyway i will be back next week i guess the beginning of august um i'll show you what i finished uh working on this month and then what i'll start working on next month so and then a new month everything will repeat itself <laughs> as it keeps going. Um, I appreciate you staying with me, sticking around, seeing my progress. Um, I don't know how you feel. I kind of get committed to these projects that they would kind of become a story that unfurls every month. And um, they, they, there's not enough projects for me to kind of not become attached to them. So I've kind of atta attached myself to a lot of them. There are a few that I haven't been working on at all, which is unfortunate. I just don't have enough time if I, if I did. Anyway, I'm hoping to reintroduce a lot of them as I complete them, some other ones. Um, so we'll see how things go. But in any case, thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for watching. And I love all your comments. I read everything everyone posts. It's such... Um, a great positive community um and that's pretty cool so thanks for all the kind words and yeah keep on crafting and i'll see you in the next video bye